Well, Logan Sargent then definitely involved in that battle, but we can see Joe Guanyu and our teammate as well. They're all swapping positions as we start lap 20, and this is allowing the gaps to really start coming down for those cars. Unfortunately, Nick, De uh, Nick DeFries, I think, has also got the bit between his teeth trying to close on in, but this is good for us late on here. It has not been the perfect season opener. For those of you that have been around the Matt 2 and Channel 2 and 2 channel for a while, you'll know we're not about those fairy tales. Okay, we're about fine. real racing Three here, seconds. and if it goes okay, badly... Oh! Red flag! Red flag. What's happened? Whoa, Let's someone's gone off. Alex days. Alvin? What on earth has happened there? We've got two cars stopped, and suddenly we have been given a lifeline then in this GP, as this is my first ever red flag. Inside F123. Okay, this is essentially a free stop. So let's think Wonderful. very carefully about our Wonderful. strategy for the rest of this race. Can't complain too much about that then. So we are going to bolt on a fresh set then of the soft compound tyres to see us through to the chequered flag here. Just make sure, yep, that is correct. So, um, yeah, we'll advance from there. And now we've got a race restart. Five red lights. And it's lights out and away. Oh, come on, we go. I forgot about the anti stall again, though. As we head down towards Cell 1, it is basically going to be a very, very... I mean, effectively now, we've got a seven-lap sprint race to the end of the race. Yellow flags immediately. What's going on? So we head down towards Cell 1 there. It's just an absolute pile-up. What on earth is happening in this Grand Prix? They get a warning for a collision with Nick De Vries. I think someone is breaking down, and it is... A lap straw then has broken down immediately off the restart then. So our second mechanical failure of the day. We're going to try and actually make an overtake then in this Grand Prix. And suddenly, this race has been turned on its head. Of course, we've still got that three-second time penalty, which is probably going to haunt us come the end of this one. But, I mean, we may as well just go for it off this restart. Up the inside are not one, but two cars down at the hairpin. And suddenly now we're into P17, the lofty heights of P17 in this GP is Lance Stroll out here in Bahrain, but my first ever red flag, that one was quite crazy.